guys, it's uh, Yume89 here on Jeans and Tonic channel and I want you to show you and explain uh, the list I played at uh, Hobolis number 3 last week where I took 1st place. Um, I decided to play Chaos Warrior. Uh, I think at the moment Chaos Warrior and Chaos Turbo are the two best decks in the format. Um, Turbo is the most unfair one, uh, but uh, Chaos Warrior is very consistent, so I decided to pick this one. Um, I played quite the same list I used also during a, a Rai Yellow tournament. Uh, I made only one change in the main deck, uh, cutting a Trap Dust Shoot uh, for a Mystic Swordsman level 2. I found out that I want a fourth target for Sangan. Uh, I think that Sangan is very important uh, because uh, it can put a lot of pressure against Tragic Rex, uh, Sakuretsu, Mirror Force, Torrential, um, and three targets are a bit uh, uh, too low. Uh, so I decided to put in a four target and uh, it did very well. Also, Sangan is very important uh, after sideboarding because uh, it could give you access uh, uh, faster to Magician of Fate, that uh, is a great card against uh, uh, certain matchups. Uh, and Sangan, of course, uh, in the main is uh, very good uh, uh, with uh, revivals like uh, Prem and uh, Call of the Anti, of course. Um, for the monster lineup, I choose a quite standard one. I play one cow sorcerer. Uh, it's uh, standard uh, with uh, with the revivals uh, and. Uh, one Spirit Reaper uh, instead of uh, Don Zalug. I think that Reaper uh, is uh, way better than Zalug. Uh, between uh, um, Ra, uh, Yellow, and uh, Obelisk Blue, uh, Spirit Reaper wins me like uh, four or five uh, or five games. So uh, it was amazing. Uh, in particular, during uh, Ra Yellow, I didn't give away any single game, I went 6-0 uh, uh, with uh, 3 win uh, in 3 matches, so very very well performance and I think that Reaper uh, performed uh, very very well. Um, for the spell lineup I decided to play double Abstract Goblin, uh, more war uh, lots of warrior players uh, decide, uh, usually decide to not play this one. Uh, because 1000 life points matter, of course, but uh, uh, in an aggro deck uh, in particular, yeah. But uh, I think that uh, Upstar Goblin is a very important card uh, because uh, it's a light counter to Trap Dash Shoot. Uh, Trap Dash Shoot right now is, the, is the, one of the best uh, opener in the game alongside uh, the Trinity Pieces. Uh, Dash Shoot is not good, is not so good against uh, Chaos Warriors. But uh, if you lose the dry roll and uh, your opponent starts with one or two dash shoot, it could be a problem. Uh, you are in trouble. So um, I think uh, playing Abstract Goblin alongside uh, or reinforcement of the army, uh, Pot of Greed and Charity, um, you have six ways to, to counter uh, in a certain way uh, opponent dash shoot turn one, and that is very, very important. Um, I think uh, the value of Absurd is more than uh, uh, giving away 1000 life points for your opponent. Uh, I decided to play also one Smashing Ground mained um, alongside the Tribe Infective Virus. I think that, that uh, Smashing and Tribe are needed in this moment to uh, counter uh, Grave Keeper Spy that is uh, all around uh, in Turbo and that uh, of course is a problem for, uh, for an aggro deck. Um, for the traps, I play five battle traps, three Saku, one Ruin, and uh, one Mirror Force. And uh, the most important thing, uh, of course, uh, in the trap lineup is uh, uh, is that I don't play any Solemn Judgment uh, in the main uh, nor in the side deck. Uh, I think that Solemn is a good card. Uh, especially the versus uh, Chaos Turbo because uh, you can stop uh, uh, Charity Card Destruction, uh, the Summon of Chaos Monsters, so it's very, very good. 
but uh, I want cards that are uh, reactive against uh, the field. I think that Chaos Warriors uh, aims to simplify the game state, so uh, in lots of situations uh, you play uh, top decking, uh, uh, the top decking game, maybe with, uh, with an empty field uh, on, uh, on both sides, or maybe with um, one, two or three cards between hand and field uh, on both sides. Um, in these moments, you need cards uh, uh, that are uh, that you can activate uh, in the moment you draw it, uh, uh, not losing a turn. Uh, and Solemn um, simply does nothing. If you, if you top deck a Solemn Judgment and your opponent has uh, a Kaiku on field or um, a Sorcerer on field, a Blade Knight on field, you can do nothing with the Solemn. Uh, Sakuretsu and Ruin, in this case, in this, uh, in these cases are way better for me, um, especially for the mirror match. I expected a lot of mirror matches uh, uh, going into this obelisk, and uh, I expected it uh, well because uh, um, over uh, eight decks uh, in this uh, obelisk blue, uh, we have we have four Chaos Warriors, uh, one Turbo, two uh, Chaos Control, and the one Bazooka Return. So I made uh, the right choice uh, in uh, not playing Solemn Judgment, uh, to play instead more Battle Traps, one Smashing Ground, uh, also the one Dust Tornado that uh, is pretty well. Uh, it did, it, uh, did, uh, it did well against uh, uh, a big, a big part of the meta game right now. Uh, so I'm very happy with this result because I think uh, uh, the deck perform, uh, performed uh, uh, at, at his best uh, um, during uh, uh, the entire tournament. Uh, uh, also in the finals uh, uh, against Moxes, uh, uh, props to him for his uh, uh, for his results. Uh, uh, in Obelisk and uh, in the Format Library Championship. Um, in the side deck, um, I play Book uh, and Fate, uh, Book in particular for uh, uh, Control decks, of course, Thousand Dice are Extract. Uh, double Cheer on the Mage. This card is uh, underrated, I think. It's very good um, to destroy um, problems like uh, Royal Decree, um, uh, Seven Tools, uh, Battle Traps, uh, anything you want to destroy. Um, of course, not playing Solemn Judgment gives me an advantage, or, or also after sideboarding, uh, when uh, people could uh, put in uh, uh, Royal Decree, because this deck uh, doesn't uh, suffer Royal Decree. Mm, in uh, uh, too much, it's uh, the decree. It's it's okay. You can uh, you can um, just play uh, Chiron. You have Breaker, Typhoon, Storm, uh, Dust Tornado. So I think it's very good. I also play one uh, one Royal Decree in the side deck uh, because in certain matchups, for example, uh, uh, Chaos Return, uh, but the Return, of course. Uh, um, other strange decks, uh, not tier one, not tier two. Uh, Decree is always a, a good card. Uh, Skilled Dark Magician is uh, absolutely the god against the mirror match. Uh, it's not a warrior, so uh, it's uh, it's better because uh, uh, Kinetic Soldier uh, doesn't do nothing to him. Uh, so very very good, like Smashing Ground. Smashing Ground is important, it's a, it's a spell, so it has a synergy with uh, Magician of Fate. Uh, the Dust Roots, of course, are for the Turbo matchup and as Reprias for uh, Scapegoats. Uh, so, the deck is pretty linear, I think uh, the obviously the most important thing and the most important change uh, from the standard list in, uh, in my deck list uh, is uh, to not play Solemn. Uh, and of course, I I don't regret it at all. Um, it uh, it went very very well. Um, for the list, uh, I took a bit uh, inspiration from uh, uh, an old one, 
a deck that made uh, top 4 at the World Championship uh, in uh, 2005, um, a Taiwan player. Uh, I think at least uh, it's, uh, it's very good um, for, for the time, it's so modern in a certain way and uh, it has a lot of, uh, of synergy. Of course, there, are, there were cards like the Asylum that uh, today are quite unplayable. Uh, in the main, in the side, cause uh, uh, kinetic soul there, for example. So, uh, but uh, all around the deck was built uh, was built in a good way. Mm. So I think that uh, that is enough. I I'm very happy for for this result, and I suggest you to to try the deck or try a similar uh, Chaos Warrior without solemn judgment um, because uh, um, it's not a staple I think this format is not uh, uh, fine fine it right now it's not uh, it's a solved uh, um, there is always space for innovation and uh, this is a great example uh, you can do well with a, with chaos warriors uh, uh, also without playing uh, solemn judgment and maybe uh, without trap dust shoot. Uh, the lot of people uh, think that dust shoot and, and solemn are the, the two best cards uh, in, in warriors and I think that's not the true uh, of course dust shoot and solemn are very good against turbo but after side they suffer from uh, the Kree uh, they suffer game one against uh, the mirror match and you have to expect a lot of mirror match also, uh, especially if you play high stakes uh, tournaments because Chaos Warrior um, is uh, right now the most consistent choice uh, entering a tournament. So, uh, thank you all, thank you Jeans and Tonic and good luck to everyone in Academy League uh, uh, tournaments from uh, Slifer, uh, Yellow, Ra and uh, of course, Obelisk Blue to have a chance to qualify for Worlds. Um, thank you all guys and see you around.